Imagine you could predict the outcome of a sports game by just looking at how the line moves. Hi guys, and welcome back to our Z Code show. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most advanced professional sports betting tools that will help you win consistently on sports betting. This tool is used by professional sports investors that are looking to get an edge on the bookies and to win consistently. The tool is called Line Reversal and you can find it for free on the Z-Code system website or on linereversals.com. In addition, you can also find it on our iPhone and Android app. If you're completely new to line reversals, we have a great video that explains everything in detail and how to use the tool, what those lines mean, and everything else that goes into the line reversals. So I'm not going to go into the basics all over again. Instead, in this video, I'm going to jump into some of the initial action and show you exactly how I can use this tool to do what we call cold reading. And that means trying to predict the results of the games based only on line reversals and public percentages without any information about the game whatsoever. So imagine I have no idea about the NHL or any other sport. I don't know anything about these teams and their performances and all I have is those line movement charts. So what can I do to predict an outcome of these games only based on these lines and nothing else? Well, this is very easy and this is very exciting as well. Z-Code expert Cyril is calling it KISS. Keep it simple, stupid approach. So I will give you real time examples on how it works. And remember, this works on any sports, not just on the NHL. You can use it on MLB baseball, soccer, NHL, NFL, whatever sport that you want to use it on. But the best results I get are always on hockey and on Major League Baseball. So for the purpose of this video, I didn't check the results of the games. So this way, I can just base my conclusions on the lines alone without knowing the outcome of the games. And remember guys, this tool is not a crystal ball, so you will not win every single time. Obviously, no one does when it comes to sports betting, but this tool will give you a strong edge over the bookies if you do it long term. And especially if you combine this tool with all the other great tools that Z-Code system provides. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the games and try to predict the results in the NHL. The first game today is the Carolina Hurricanes against the Boston Bruins. Again, imagine I have no information about this game. So let's jump straight into the line movement charts. Let's check the money line chart first. As you can see, the line opened around minus 149. That's American odds or 1.67 in decimal odds format if you prefer that. And later that day, despite the fact that almost 80% or even more of the public bettors were betting on the Boston money line, the line actually moved down into Carolina direction. So as you can see, there is a sharp line move detected against Boston and the smart money is coming on Carolina. I can make a conclusion that smart bettors are not trusting Boston to have an easy win in this game. So they're putting their money on Carolina spread because Carolina is underdogs. So they're going to bet Carolina plus 1.5. They're expecting that this game is probably going to go into overtime or be decided by one goal. So let's check the totals. So the total opened at six and then it went to 5.5. There's no clear picture about the total. So I can't make a clear prediction about the total of this game. So if I have to bet with a gun to my head, then I can call this game a possible tie and a game that can go into overtime. And I place a bet on Carolina plus 1.5 spread. So let's check out the results and we can see the game actually went to overtime like we expected, and the Bruins won in overtime. So our bet on Carolina plus spread will win this game. So this was a perfect cold read. The next game today is the Columbus Blue Jackets against the New Jersey Devils. Again, I have no information about this game in question. Imagine I've never heard of these teams and their results. I just jumped straight into the money line movements. As you can see, Columbus is a road favorite and it opened at minus 185 and then move throughout the day to minus 233 with about 70% of people betting on the team. 
there were no strong reversals. So you can see the move is coming in favor of Columbus. And this little last turn was really insignificant. So if you can see that this is a really small reversal, so I wouldn't consider this. And this is probably just a little bit of noise. So if you look at this chart, this is always a clean indication that the money is coming on the favorite and they're expecting an easy win to the favorite. And if we look at the totals, you can see the line was at 6.5 totals and around 70% betting on the under. I would say there is no clear indication if this game is going over or getting under. But the fact that just, just 30% of people are on the under and the line did not move usually means that the bookie is expecting a high scoring game. So they are very happy that most people are betting under, so they don't really want to move anybody to the over. So they're expecting a high scoring game over 6.5. My prediction based on this line alone is that Columbus is going to have an easy win and probably a high scoring game over 6.5. Let's check the results. I honestly don't know what it is up front. Okay, the result is Columbus Blue Jackets won in a shootout. This wasn't a high scoring game at all, so bettors were right that they're going on the under, but the Columbus Blue Jackets got the win. So I cannot call this a perfect prediction, but based on the money line, we got the win, and this is pretty clear. I'll take a win any day. The next game is the Florida Panthers against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's check out the lines. As you can see, Z code says the game is a possible Vegas trap. It means this is one of the most popular games of the day, and the public is heavy on one side, but the line moves the opposite side. It could also be a false alarm, or a real trap, and you need to check closely before the game starts. So you can see almost 100% of the people are betting on Pittsburgh to win the game. However, the line, instead of going straight, the line actually went the opposite way. So it opened at minus 200 and it closed at minus 185. So there's really no clear direction and support for the Penguins to have an easy win here. And you can see a sharp line detected against Pittsburgh. Based on this line, this game should be pretty close and I would say it will be a good idea to bet Florida and the spread in this game. So this game can easily go into overtime as well. Let's check out the results and our bet would be Florida plus spread. What's the result? The result was the Penguins winning the game in overtime. So our prediction went correctly. The game was close and the Penguins won in overtime. Another win for our cold reading system. Now the next game that we have is the Ottawa Senators against the New York Islanders. Again, with no information about the game, we're going to check the line. And here is a clear picture that the New York Islanders were the favorites with almost 80% of people betting on them. The line actually went the opposite direction. As you can see, a sharp line was detected against New York. It means that sharp money was coming on Ottawa and the smart move would be betting on Ottawa and the spread instead of trying to support New York. Let's check out the result if our Ottawa spread won. As you can see, actually, we're right again. New York really struggled with this game, and it went to a shootout. Now, the Islanders still won in the shootout, but Ottawa stayed close, and our bet won. So, another win, and we take it. Okay, so the next game is the Winnipeg Jets against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, by the time of this recording, Tampa Bay was one of the NHL's best teams. So, let's check out what the lines tell us. Actually, the line has a clear support for Tampa to win against Winnipeg. So you can see the line opened at minus 187 and closed at 200, at minus 200 that is. So there is no reversal and it's a very, very clean picture supporting Tampa Bay. So my prediction just based on this line would be that Tampa Bay is going to win in an easy game against Winnipeg. Now let's check out the results. And the result is Tampa Bay winning five to two. So this was a really easy win for Tampa Bay and the line prediction came true again. Looking at our next game, it is the Minnesota Wild against the Nashville Predators. Now let's see what we have here. Just by looking at this line, I don't see any close indication of where this game is going. As you can see, the line goes up and down, so this, so this image looks really messy. It's not as clean as some of the others we've had. Let's check the 12 hour chart. Now there's no difference. So basically looking at this chart, there's no clear indication of who is going to win Minnesota or Nashville. So with a gun to my head, 
I would say this game is going to go into overtime without a clear direction of the winner. So I guess let's check the results and see just exactly what happened. So yes, as you can see, the prediction came true. Again, this game was really close and it went into overtime and a shootout. So there was no indication who's going to win and the game went into overtime, followed by the shootout. Okay, as we move on into our next game, we've got the New York Rangers taking on the Dallas Stars. So let's check on the line. Again here, there is no real clear picture of the line. Dallas is a favorite, but there is no clear support for Dallas or any reversal against the Dallas Stars. There is, there is this peak, but this is basically just noise. It went up and down, so I would say this is irrelevant. So the line is pretty straight, so there is no support in either direction, meaning that people are not interested in betting on this game. In fact, you can see that this is a 10 out of 10 most public games today. I mean, this is the least interesting game for people to bet on. It's like nobody was actually wanting to bet on this game because nobody really cared who would come out as the winner. So instead, we can look into the totals as you can see. And as you can see, most people are heavily betting on under in this game. And the bookie has actually changed the total from 6 to 5.5, meaning that the bookie thinks that this game is going to go low and they want to bring more people to the over. So my prediction is... This is anybody's game, and, well, most importantly, this game will stay under five and a half goals. Let's see the results. And the results was a bit ridiculous for a hockey game, and it's one to nothing. Dallas won in a very low-scoring game, so our prediction again came true. So I hope by now, guys, you appreciate how accurate this tool is. Of course, this is not a crystal ball. But you can see you can really predict a lot of things just by looking at the lines and knowing without any information about the game whatsoever. You don't need to know how well a team is doing in the league. All you have to do is look at the line reversal and to get this information from the cold reads. So let's go and take a look at our last game of the day. And actually, it's not the last game of the day. We have a few more. It was actually a big card. Uh, for the day's game. So uh, the next game though, the next game is the Anaheim Ducks taking on the Arizona Coyotes. So let's check uh, our information here. Now again, this game is not popular at all. It's a 7 out of 10 uh, for betters to wager on. So let's check the line. There is no clean picture. So the line goes up and down. So there, uh, nobody is really betting on this game. There's no clear indication, and sharp money is not coming in on the Ducks and the Coyotes. And again, let's check on the totals. We have here a very clear picture that most people are betting under. So I make the conclusion that this game is going to be very, very low scoring without a very clear signal who will win. So if I had to bet, I will take the under. Let's see the result. So the result is 1-3, to three. so the Ducks won in another low-scoring NHL game, as we predicted. So, another victory for the line reversal tool. Okay, let's go to our next game, which is the Detroit Red Wings taking on the Colorado Avalanche. And so, let's check on the reversals. And here, we can see a very clean picture in support of Colorado. So, this is what I'm looking for if I want to bet on the favorite. The line goes very clean from the starting point here to the end point here. And this reversal is really tiny. I would say this is just a bit of noise. So the line went in support of Colorado with most people betting on it. And I expect an easy win for the Avalanche in this game. So let's see the result. And the result, Colorado won the game in overtime. So it wasn't as easy as I expected, but the win is a win. So we'll take that any day. And now on to the last game of the day, guys. And that is the Montreal Canadiens against the Los Angeles Kings. Now again, this game is not a very popular one to bet on as it is a nine out of 10, meaning nobody really cares about this game and nobody really likes it to bet on. Uh, and if we look at the line, there's no strong reversals. So you can see the line opened here at minus 130 and closed here at minus 141. There is no reversal. So this is again, just a bit of noise and the line moved very clear in the support of Montreal. So if I had to bet on this game, 
my conclusion would be that Montreal will have an easy win against the Los Angeles Kings. We're going to take a look at the result now. And the result was an easy win 3-1 for the Canadiens, like we predicted. You can also check Cyril, who made a topic in the Z Code forum about different case studies and examples of the cold reading of line reversals, spotting Vegas traps, and upsets. So as you can see guys, this tool gives you very, very good indications of where the game is going to go, and it's really easy to use. All you do is check the money line, the spread, and the standard totals, and also the public percentages here just before the game starts. Again, if you want to join Z Code System and unlock all the games and picks, just go to zcodesystem.com, join our VIP club, and prepare to be amazed. You will find a lot of people who are betting professionally who are making their living by professional sports betting. And you can start using all of the tools that we have, not only line reversals, but all of the other tools like oscillators, scores predictors, power rankings, and many, many more tools, guys, will be at your hands and your fingertips at the zcodesystem.com website. You can also use our automated systems. You can find them in the hot trends and then go to the automated systems right there. And then you can choose the sport that you want to follow. And you can choose among 250 different automated trends for different sports. So everything is fully automated and, and every pick is given to you in clear form. So you don't need to calculate or analyze anything. And if you want to dive deep, Remember to get our line reversal tool or our iPhone or Android app and enjoy line reversals for different sports like NHL hockey, soccer, NFL football, and of course, Major League Baseball. So guys, I thank you for watching our video this week and we hope you guys have successful sports betting by using the line reversal tool. We'll see you inside at Z Code System. Goodbye for now.